So hey guys, welcome to this fresh YouTube channel. I was just flabbergasted by watching your response on the previous video. So here is the another video for you guys. In this video, we will talk about importance of research for India. Let's start the video. Wikipedia के अनुसार 2018 के सर्वेक्षण को मद्देनजर रखते हुए number of patent applications filed by each nation has given. So in this list, China has got 15 lakh patent applications. America has got 5 lakh patent applications and India has got only 50,000 patent applications. And these were only applications. How many were granted? Here is the list. China got 4 lakhs of patents granted in that single year. USA got 3 lakh patents filed in that single year. And where is the India? Only 13,000 patents in that single year. I really think we should examine the chain of causality here. कोई भी देश जब आजाद होता है तो उसके मैक्सिमम लोग एग्रीकल्चरल सेक्टर में होते हैं ऐसे में बाहर के देश के लिए उस देश में इन्वेस्ट करना बहुत ही प्रॉफिटेबल होता है क्यों क्योंकि उस देश में चीप लेबर अवेलेबल होता है ऐसे में वो देश एग्रीकल्चरल सेक्टर की एग्रीकल्चरल सेक्टर से मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर की तरफ मूव करता है सो एज अ कंट्री मूव्स फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चरल सेक्टर टू मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर द पर हेड इनकम ऑफ द कंट्री इंक्रीजेस एंड सो द अदर नेशंस who invested in the nation cannot get the advantage of cheap labor because the cost of labor start increasing starts increasing and this causes less profit to the country and they start disinvesting so in this case the country itself has to innovate to create the new technology to start the startups businesses developed on that technology and here the part of innovation comes into the picture so the more a country innovates, the more it will get the newer technology, the more it will start its businesses. So this is the reason why we see these giants in China such as Tencent, Alibaba, Xiaomi. China innovates more, China gets, China gets more patent, they innovate more, they have the new technology and they invest in that technology, they start their business and the country prospers. Same is the case of USA. They innovate more, they get new technologies, they invest in their business and these businesses helps the country to grow. So here is the importance of research for India. So in 1947, we got the independence. Most of the people of our country at that time were in agricultural sector. Slowly other countries started investing in our country and our and we moved towards manufacturing sector and, and today our service sector is more powerful than our manufacturing sector. So today we don't have that advantage of cheap labor in our country at this stage. So at this stage we have to innovate ourselves, we have to bring the technologies in our country, we have to start different startups and businesses and this will help our country to grow and see here our country is lacking behind than what it can do and this shows that our country has the potential to grow in this field my motive of creating this video was just to encourage some of the students and their parents towards their research career to have a look at this career you have many opportunities like iiscr niscr iisc and all other institutes there are many research institutes in India for students to learn and also for researchers to do their research and that was the message I wanted to convey to all of you in this video so if you like the video press that like button and subscribe the channel to watch the upcoming videos and press that notification bell so that you will get notified whenever I will post whenever I will post the next video मिलते हैं आपसे अगली वीडियो में तब तक के लिए नमस्कार। If always you ask what is your passion, passion, that passion should lead you what you want to specialize. Every father mother may like to be a doctor, engineer, and manager like that, but what is important? Children dream what they want to be. We have to respect the children's children's dream. That is passion, okay? What's your passion?